it's Bethany Bennett, your community artist here with Atlantic Center for the Arts. We are going to be working on a point list painting today. And so uh, a couple supplies that you will be needing is some basic acrylic paints. So you've got red, orange, yellow, a dark blue, indigo, and a nice cerulean blue. So five colors and we will be using either you can use paper or canvas um, and q-tips and that's all you need so uh, we're basing today's project on an iconic pointillist painter George Seurat and this is just an example of one of his works this is actually just a small portion of one of his paintings but um maybe you can see from further away from the camera how the different colors and patterns blend together to make the skin tone the hair and the background but when you get up close to it you'll notice that it's really just dots and patterns of dots with different colors. So most of his most prominent pointillist works were done in the 1880s. This style is associated with post-impressionism and they call pointillism also, they call it divisionism or chromoluminarism which is a very cool term. Um, it, it defines itself by the separation of colors into individual dots or patches of colors um, to interact optically. So here's a work from one of my students um, who did this pointillist painting. And what they've done at the bottom is dots of blue and yellow next to each other, make it a green. And then they've used dots of yellow and red to make an orange sky above here. And then for the tree, they used blue and red dots to make a purple tree. So we're going to be doing something very similar to this. We're going to be doing our own unique landscape, um, but we're going to be using this technique so from further away, our eyes naturally blend the dots to form one color instead of two. So we are going to get a plate. We're gonna have crimson, orange, yellow, a cerulean blue, and an ultramarine blue. And we're gonna use these colors and blend them together in patterns to make a landscape. And instead of using a paintbrush, we're gonna use Q-tips. Of course, if you have a paintbrush and you prefer to use that, you can always just use the paintbrush to make dots or different mark making. It doesn't have to be dots. You can do patches of color, um, little squares of color next to each other. The point is, is that from further away, it will define one color when they are together. So um, we're going to start out by dipping our Q-tip into different colors. And we can make it up as we go along, or we can look at another landscape or maybe a photograph or look out our bedroom window and decide what you want to make. So I'm going to look out my window here and I've got a park outdoors. I've got nice green grass and then the river behind it. So maybe I'll incorporate something like that. So I'll start by putting blue and yellow dots together. And if you want, you can use two Q-tips at a time. So, 
Step one in the beginning. And you can put them next to each other, kind of like that. So you're just going to start by making a simple pattern like that. If you can hold more than two at a time, you're free to do that. Now, depending on what pattern you use, you will get more of one color than the other. So say I'm using a lot more yellow than I am the blue. That will be more predominant and make it more of a lighter green than a teal. So we'll start by doing a little horizon line. And then we're going to go ahead and we'll put in kind of a sky feature and kind of feeling like I want the sky to be more blues and purples. So we'll use different variations and patterns of red and blue to make a purple sky. We are going to time lapse this so that you guys can see the whole process. Okay guys, this is what we have come up with. Our final end product of our pointillist Q-tip painting. A uh, couple things I want to point out are just uh, from far away, how the colors blend and up close, how it's broken down into singular colors. So this is what we've achieved. And I would love to see you guys' pointillist paintings. If you would share them with us at our Steam Theme Gallery. Um, the link is in the description below the video. And we'd love to have some of your work in our gallery. So thanks for joining us. Hope we'll see you next time. Have a good one.